everyone it's Chris with Hot Shots I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today uh, I actually just got back uh, from having lunch with my girlfriend and one of her friends and uh, I gotta say it was a pretty interesting lunch um, her friend and her her friend's husband uh, is actually looking for a gourmet espresso and coffee machine uh, and so they were asking for my expertise as well as you know um, we started talking about different brewing methods and that's why I wanted to create this video um, you know I've seen over the last couple of years, but obviously several years, there's been kind of, I'd say in a way, a trend, the next way to brew coffee. And, and if you're a coffee drinker yourself or go to these boutique coffee shops, such as like a, a Starbucks Reserve um, or Avoca or Ascension or, or Cultivar, any of these gourmet coffee shops, you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, it seems like there's about a dozen different ways to brew coffee. And we start getting this feeling like one way might be better than the other. And uh, so something we started talking about it was these various different methods. And, and what I told her is exactly what I'm gonna tell you. Um, I find it very interesting a lot of times we get caught up in that right so you know we feel like well we could do a cold brew or we could do um, you know a pour over is better than a traditional uh, brewing method uh, and a lot of times that's true but at the same time it really starts with the ingredients right uh, so I go back to what type of coffee when was it roasted uh, how good is the coffee? Where was it roasted? And then you also go to the water. What type of water are you putting in this uh, to make this great coffee? And so there's a lot of key elements. Just like if you were going to make, uh, think of if you were going to make a gourmet cheeseburger or hamburger at home, you want to start with the best ingredients, right? If you just bought some meat at Walmart and threw it together and threw some salt and pepper on it, yeah, it'd probably be a pretty good burger. But at the end of the day, would that be the same as as getting some fresh different types of meat or, or, or grinding your own meat with different types of maybe beef uh, and different types of seasoning, uh, I think it'd be a little bit different. So um, I think you'd agree, a lot of times it comes down to the key ingredients. So, you know, when you go to your coffee shop and you think about this, uh, or the next time you make your own coffee, if you're getting into doing espresso, pour overs, all these different things, don't forget about the water and the coffee that you're getting um, and then you know take time to think about the method but you know think about it too that it's also a little bit more than just what method you're using to make that coffee uh, it's ultimately the ingredients that are in it um, so yeah that's just kind of a quick tip something I was thinking about today I thought I'd share with you guys um, if you like some of the videos that I've been doing here for you putting them up here on social media and YouTube uh, definitely comment and like tell me what you guys think tell me maybe you're having trouble with uh, a machine or you have some questions about machines or just general questions about coffee uh, as well as if you have any questions about our gourmet coffee experience uh, please let me know that too as well I'd love to help you out and let you know what we can what we can do for you um, we're also going to be coming up soon on probably one of the YouTube videos that we're going to release. Uh, we'll be doing another giveaway, so make sure you guys are following along with that. And uh, if you haven't, check out our Hot Shots TV channel on YouTube. Um, there's definitely a link somewhere around here that you'll be able to see. Uh, if not, just scroll down on my wall in, on Facebook and you'll be able to see that as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, I'll see you guys next time.